I will be dealing with realities, and here we see two very real objects as they presented themselves to the world prior to September 11, 2001. The Twin Towers, ladies and gentlemen, of World Trade Center, standing on the south of Manhattan, and the photographer taking this picture is having his back to the west, is facing east. The water down here in the front is the Hudson River, so we have south to the right, and we have north to the west. To keep track of the four corners of the world will be important during the presentation, so please uh, stay tuned for that. So this is the North Tower, which was finished in 1970 to a height of 417 meters, 110 stories, and on top of that there was a TV antenna of 100 meters. The South Tower, to the right, was finished in 1973, as well, to a height of 470 meters, 110 stories, no TV antenna. How much, what was the weight of such a tower? Well, it can actually be disputed. The lowest estimate I've seen is 250,000 metric tons. But if you add to that cables, elevators, furniture, uh, computers, people, coffee machines, let's say 350,000 times. But it's not important. What, is it, what will be important for the presentation is that about 90,000 of all these tons were steel, because the towers were steel framed high rises, consisting with the design of the core, where you have 47 core columns and 336 perimeter columns all the way around. We will return very much to this aspect. But just to give you a feel for the strengths of these buildings, how they were made. So here you see, this is the core column, this is part of the perimeter column, this is the construction worker. So here they stood with these two towers until September 11, 2001, when on the morning of this Tuesday, there was a French TV crew out in the streets following a rookie who is a young man aspiring to be a firefighter. They have been following him for about a month and nothing has really happened. But this morning, there was an alarm coming into the fire station where he was working. There was an alarm of gas, the smell of gas in one of the little streets of Lower Manhattan. And there was nothing else to do. So what you see here is the fire station chief himself coming out out, and he is the guy with the cat. It was 8.46 in the morning. Plane flown from Manhattan. You don't hear planes too often. I like the special out ones.
Well, you can see actually how the top stops tilting when it fall comes down. But appearing to fall away from the rest of the building. Can we go to the tape now? Here we go, right here. This is, I mean, when you look at it, the building has collapsed. That tower just came down. Let's go to Bob Bazell, who is at St. Vincent's Hospital. Bob. Now, half an hour later, right, if you hear what's coming up now, this is the North Star. Can you hear me in the rear? 